what's poppin what's good welcome and welcome back i'm michaela in today's video we're doing this hair of mine in this crown of my own we're here back with another natural hair chronicles this is not a tutorial on how to do flat twists but just a hairstyle in general to spice up mini twists or even to learn how to do flat twists. Start off with something simple. I'm started on freshly washed hair and it's already moisturized. I'm gonna just sec about to section off my hair and then we can get into this hairstyle. For today, I just freestyled my part in the back for my twist. I have eight big sections. The products I'm using today or the Aunt Jackie's Curl La La Curling Cluster Custard and Eco Styler Gel. This will be needed for the front of my head and some rubber bands. The water, I might need this while twisting my hair. Since my hair is already moisturized, I just need a spritz of water. But if you want to know how to do my mini, how I do my mini twists. My tutorial is up on my page. I'll have also my Natural Hair Chronicles playlist um, down below in the description and in the iCards. Watching YouTube, I always add natural hair people, natural hair content, but it was never a hair that looked like mine. It was always a different wave curl type. But I enjoyed the video so much that now I can see how those videos impacted me. Like learning how to do a wash and go now, back then I didn't think I could be able to do one. And so that's why. It's a part of my channel on natural hair to give y'all natural hair content and what to do with your hairstyles, learning as I'm going to help younger girls and just people in my age that don't know how to take care of their hair. But it used to be those videos, like every week, they coming out with a review or a tutorial using different products. That amazes me because did y'all go out and buy those products yourselves? Because I know you spent a lengthy amount of money or was it a gifted collab sponsors you had to do. Either way, if you did it by yourselves, now you see the profit because now you're getting collabs and sponsorship with the brands. But I see how that changes when you're Someone trying to do it, your, do it themselves. I know products are not cheap. They're quite expensive when you're trying to get a couple, even two items, you're spending $20 on. But like, that's inspiration to somebody else that's doing natural hair content. And they don't have the brand ships coming in yet. 
that's how you can start. Go out to these different stores and get the products you want to try. I can see I'm doing a shift and change on my content. I'm doing a little more on my TikTok side, but when it comes to natural hair, my videos on TikTok do not be doing the best. Like, and I'm not saying, oh, you need getting collabs, you need sponsorships just to create the content you want to create. You start creating content you want to create by the means that you are within. Now, lately, I haven't been doing a middle part. I've been moving this part around, but I'm going back to the middle part today. I got four twists on each side, but I try to even my uh, parts out, but it never works out the best. So when I got to this side, they started getting a little smaller. The gel I have with me is the Eco Sandler Coconut Oil. First time I've used it in a while for this hairstyle, but I need the front to be sleek. So it can last a couple of days because I don't use edge control or anything. If you use that, it probably will last longer. Bear with me as I try to explain this. After applying a little bit of gel, I take a little section in the front and twist regularly. I'm using my index finger to grab a little more hair from behind and twisting over with the original twist. Now grabbing more hair. It's an overall repetitive process, but the thing is try not to mix up the hair that you twisted prior when you start grabbing. So it helps with gripping and using the index finger. And now finishing up this twist, I'm using a rubber band method where I just make sure it's secured because my flat twists are not tight. Yes, I am still a beginner. And I know this explanation can be a little hard. But just sit and watch for my visual learners. And after applying the ribbon, I just twist the rest of the hair on down as well. Like a glance from the past, you Especially at my um, edges, the front, really. But how I can make this hairstyle look, not like a little tighter, but look a little neater, probably. And how to end off your flat twist. 
because I'm using rubber bands, but when I get to the rubber bands part, it's kind of loose back there. You can do plenty of hairstyles. You can just pin, go ahead and pin it up, half, a, half up, half down. Like I said, just leave it down. I've been putting it in buns, having a little pony, or I've been putting it up in a hot pony. Like, I'm liking it. Liking that there's no hair in my face. And here's the twist in the back. Juicy, luxurious curls. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Definitely dabble into this natural hair content. As I'm improving on my journey, seeing what's best for my hair care, and taking care of this crown. And peace out, my beautiful butterflies.